feature release by us at Zenla, survey funnels and branching. What does branching mean? A branching survey, also known as a conditional survey or skip logic survey, is a type of survey that uses rules to direct respondents down different paths based on their answers to specific questions. It tailors the survey experience in real time, making the questions more relevant to each respondent. This dynamic approach allows for a more personalized and efficient survey process. The benefits of this are increased engagement, reduced survey fatigue, more accurate data, and time efficiency. Let's look at graphical example. First, we have a welcome page that then goes straight into the survey asking a question. Do you exercise regularly? Based on the answer, yes, they will go to question two. And based on the answer, no, they will go to question four. When they go to question two, they're asked what type of exercise they do, cardio or strength. Based on these answers, it can then go through to question three. The final result can be sent to a results page that is independent from each questions answered. Also, email automations can go out based on the results. This is branching surveys. They can be as simple or complex as you like. Let's have a look now in the Zenda platform. To create a new branching survey, simply click Create Funnel. Then from the options, select Survey Funnel and click Next. Name your funnel and click Next. Select a theme and click Finish. To start adding our questions, we go to the Survey tab and hit Edit Survey. Let's create a survey based on the graphical example I just showed you. Question one, do you exercise regularly, yes or no? I'm going to choose a true and false question for this. Let's add a true or false and add our question. For question two, I'm gonna ask, what type of exercise do you do? This is going to be in its own group. So I'm gonna add a new group here. This is just my decision to add a group. You could continue adding questions and still branch to these questions. Now I've added all my questions from the graphic example as groups. Group one being the initial question, do you exercise regularly? Group two being two questions in that group, what type of exercise you do and how often per week. And then question four, which is down here, which is would you be interested in exercise routine? Now we can base two results off of this. So we can send the user in two different directions and send them two different emails based on their results of one and two. Branching funnels can get very complex. So having a graphical representation that you can follow makes it easier. Now we need to connect up our branching questions. For instance, do you exercise regularly? Yes needs to go to question two. All we need to do to enable branching is click branching. At the moment, this survey is in a linear format, meaning one question goes to the next. Branching allows you to bypass and send people to exactly where they need to be. Let's click branching and connect the branches up. As you can see here, if branching is enabled, randomized question settings will not be applied. Obviously, we do not want it to be ram randomized because we're sending people to the correct path. We click yes. And you're going to see at that point, you have a little branch icon in the top left that indicates this is a branching funnel. So do you exercise regularly? Yes or no? If they click yes, they will go to group two and what type of exercises. If they click no, they will go to group four and would you be interested in routine, in starting a exercise routine as they do not regularly exercise. Next, yes, we'll go through to this, which wants to send them to question three. So inside here, both of these will go to question three, like so. Next, how often 
do you exercise per week? And this will go to a results page or could even send them into interested in starting your exercise routine. We can set up a results page for each of the paths that they have taken through the questions. If we scroll down, you're going to see after they have finished the survey, they will then go to an opt-in page. The opt-in pages and the result pages are steps in a funnel, which we can highly edit. Let's set up the result page for both of our options. If people exercise regularly, this is one result page, and if people do not. I'm gonna edit the name of this results page. I'm gonna call it exercise result. We're gonna create a new result page and we're gonna call this no exercise result. This will automatically add steps into our funnel system. We've created it here. Now we can link up our final questions. Going to go to branching again. And in our final questions here, we're going to, would you be interested in exercise routine? We're going to send them to the result exercise result. If they're not interested, we're going to send them to the result no exercise result. For group two questions, we're going to send them into the result page in any case or not. Actually, I'll send them into the no result page. I'm going to click this for all of them. And click save. Now our branching funnel is set up that branches in two different directions. Now we need to set up what our result page will look like. Let's go straight into the exercise result page by clicking here. This will open a new tab that allows you to edit this page in the page builder. I'm going to edit this now and the no result page to give a better look and feel. So here is the result page for exercise result. I've just styled this quickly in here. So now I'm going to go to the no, no result page and quickly style that. Let's look at the funnel steps inside our survey. If I click the little back arrow, I can go to our funnel. As you see inside of the funnel, you have an overview of the funnel. You have funnel details. You have the survey we've just looked at, funnel steps, leads you've generated, any email automations and reports. Let's jump to funnel steps. Inside the funnel steps, we can also edit the design in this area as well as in the surveys. I want to change the initial welcome page. Let's click the edit button and use the page builder to build our page and make it look attractive. Okay, let's change our opt-in page. Again, using the page builder, I can design this exactly how I want. Now we have all of the pages inside of our funnel completed. Did the welcome page, the opt-in page, the exercise result, and the no exercise result page. We now have one last thing to do, which is to send an email based on the questions answered inside of the survey. Now do remember that we had two results. Someone with no exercise received the special offer and the people that already exercise get a different result and maybe a different email. It's so easy to set up inside Zenla. We need to just go to automations and base our email off of a trigger series from the result. Let's jump into our email automation rules by clicking the edit button. By default, all our emails will be paused. 
We want to send an email out based on the result, not just on the opt-in or register. So I'm only going to be using the result email sequence. I'm going to click on this area here. And this will give me an area here that tells you the trigger that will fire the email and based on the result. I'm going to rename this as already exercise and the result will be based on exercise. Let's click save. Now emails inside this area from this point on will only go out to people that are going into the exercise result. Let's now modify this email. As you can see, because they already exercise, I put the title as you're fit already, but get fitter. Now I can adjust this email sequence so that it's relevant for that particular survey result. As you see, this email has now been targeted for people that already exercise. All we need to do now is save the changes and make it live. To set up our special email for people that are not exercising, we just go to rule on survey result. When this comes up, I'm going to change the rule name to no exercise and the result will fire when the no result, no exercise result is triggered. Click save changes and set up a send mail. Once you've created your email specifically for this result, you can save it and make it live. Now we have two emails that fire based on different survey re results. Of course, survey funnels and branching can be as complex as you like, but make sure that you plan it out before you start your surveys. Lastly, let's make sure that we test our branching survey properly. Go into your survey funnel and you can either click preview funnel or you can go into the survey itself and you can preview from there. I'm going to go and preview this funnel, which will bring up the start page. And we're just going to go through and test this. So you're going to be hitting the next button that will then take you into the survey where you can start testing. Please test all options going forwards. I'm going to click this, click one of these, it should take me to the next part. Click this, and then it should take me finally to opting in. And I'm even going to check my mail's work by putting in a test email and name inside here. Let's click this. And it's already saying I'm fit, so this is correct. Now I need to test the next one. So I'm going to close this off again, preview the funnel and go through the other option, which is no. This should take me to a, a different result page at the end. I'm going to click no this time and I can see there's an error. I need to change this to another step in the funnel. This is why it's very important to test. So I'm now back in the funnel and I'm going to check. This is going to this question, which is question four. So let's check no is going to question four. I'm going to switch the branching on. And I can see this has not been set up. So this needs to go to that question four. And this one definitely needs to go to group two, question two. It was showing the right result because it had next and it's the next step in the funnel. But actually I want to make sure and control it all. So I'm going to put that in there and click save. Now I'm going to retest this. So I'm going to back myself back out, click inside of here, and this time click no, and it should bypass the cardio or question two. And it's jumped me to question four, which is correct. If I click no, it's going to take me to the no page. If I click yes, it's going to take me to correct page. 
So again, I'm going to finish this response and test. Again, set up a test email and name, like so, and click here. And this is good. This is taking me to the ready to get fit or the no exercise page. Now I need to check my emails and make sure that I've received two emails. You'll notice that if we go back into the funnel, we will have two registered leads because I just entered them in here. If I now go into this funnel and hit leads, you're going to get plus one and plus two. And that's it. You need to check your email and make sure that you've received both of those versions. Thorough checking and testing of anything inside of the Zenla platform is essential to make sure that your users don't encounter any friction points. We hope you've enjoyed this feature from us at Zenla.